everywhere we go Under the sun or in the snow From Vancouver to Toronto People want to know At the first glance If by any chance The way we sing and dance We wouldn't come from France We answer no Oh no, no, no We're not Frenchmen We're not Germans We're not Russians We're not Polish We're not English, Indians, Negroes We're not even Eskimos We're not Cajuns Though we're raging All we want is a good living We're your neighbors from Quebec, des Tata puis des Beaubec. French is fun, French is money, that's all we're trying to say. Why don't you join the party? Alouette, je t'y plume. in Quebec since I was 13 years old. And I'll tell you one thing, when I was small, even when I was small, when I was junior, my fondest dream of what I've always wanted was to play in Quebec in front of my own, you know, uh, my own people, let's say, uh, my, the French people, which I am, I'm French. Not that I have anything against the English, personally, but uh, let's say your, um, your talents are recognized a little more, I think, if you play in front of uh, people that know you you know, and your your own uh, your own friends and that. When you're away from home and when you're young like that, uh, it's kind of hard. You don't know very many people, and uh, you know they can't get to know you because you're you know you, you don't hang around with them like like you would with the French people in your own your own hometown. And that. Born in Gatineau, right outside. It's around Hull, Ottawa. I guess that's why I speak French and English. Uh, when you live around Hull, Ottawa, you have to know both languages. That's when I. That's where I started playing hockey. I was. Uh, I guess I started when I was 12 years old, and uh, I played for my school team. Then I played junior A for uh, the Hull Hawks and the, the Ottawa Valley Junior A League. After that, I uh, I went to Toronto and I played junior B for two years. Went to London, played in the Leaf organization there for the London team. And came back to Marley's in Toronto. I guess I was in the Toronto organization. In hockey, I've always belonged to Toronto since I was born. Well, uh, this is a short, young, and wonderful story. This is the least I could say at the present time. And um, I think it is a really uh, wonderful thing for uh, Quebecs and the Quebecers. And uh, this show, uh, once again, to which extent that the Quebecers, when they have decided to get together and uh, to be united, could accomplish most wonderful thing. 
Uh, I think it is the duty of the businessmen of any city who for years have worked and developed their own business in uh, the city to get together some time and to realize that someday they have to join together and give back I mean, to their community a lot of things because they have positively in the years before uh, been in a position, I mean, to accomplish for themselves good things, but they have to give a little part back to the society, I think. Uh, training camp. Well, I guess it is kind of hard when you start. You come in here for the first time and uh, you get to meet a bunch of guys. You, uh, you don't know anyone when you first get here. After about a week or so, you get to pal around with a couple of guys. Even, you know, I mean, you're fighting for a spot. Everybody's trying to make a position on the team. It gets kind of hard, you know, because uh, first of all, you become friends with everybody. And then you're trying to cut the guy's throat, trying to get a job from him. So uh, it is really hard, especially this year. We were quite a few defensemen. We got to know each other pretty well. We were friends. And then all of a sudden, well, one of them gets cut, you know. And uh, what happens is you're taking his job. It is hard because, uh, I mean, if, if you don't stand up and, and play your best, well, they'll take your job away from you, just like uh, I'm doing to them. So uh, let's say it's the better man that wins, I guess. <laughs> That's about it. Je sais je fais beaucoup d'erreurs, j'ai besoin de beaucoup de conseils, mais avec les conseils, j'ai l'intention de travailler fort et d'écouter, de, de faire tout ce qu'on me dit et d'essayer de m'améliorer. Si tu fais ça, je suis sûr que tu vas, tu vas réussir. Le gars qui veut travailler dans n'importe quel métier ou n'importe quel sport, le gars qui travaille, il réussit. Il n'y a rien que je veux plus que m'améliorer. Good. Good. D'accord. On va te souhaiter bonne chance et j'espère que ça va bien aller. Merci beaucoup. Bien, bonjour. Oui, je voudrais faire un long distance à Montréal, s'il vous plaît. Le numéro est 679 7932. Le 
veloce, tre palare a scel zucca. Rachel, bon c'est genre. Je te cale zia Québec, là. on vient juste de finir de pratiquer, puis on part pour Bécomo à une heure. En tout cas, j'ai des très bonnes nouvelles à t'annoncer. Ouais, je viens juste, tout est réglé, là, tout est, tout est fini. C'est ça, la seule bonne chose des sports. C'est pas comme un maître d'école qui fait pas sa job. Il est garanti d'avoir sa position. Mais bon, ok, si tu produis pas, t'es parti. C'est pas comme le junior. Le junior, tu fais une mauvaise joute, tu peux te prendre. Un professionnel, t'as une coupe de. Il gêne un peu. Most of the players are French, and uh, a lot of the guys on this team are guys that have had bad breaks, that have had a tough time breaking into, uh, well, the, you know, the professional ranks because of uh, what I was saying a little while ago, preferences and things like that. So uh, let's say uh, we're a whole bunch of black sheep that we're all reunited all together, and uh, we sympathize with, with each other. And now we're going to try and prove to a lot of people that, you know, we... We deserve to play hockey somewhere. It's a, it's a long story, all this, but uh, we hope to prove something this year, anyways. I can't really think of anything that you can compare it with. It's, it's a game of emotions and, uh, let's say, uh, reflexes. In hockey, different things happen all the time. Very seldom the same thing will happen twice. Because, I mean, it's a small puck and people uh, move everywhere. Whereas in football, or they've got set patterns in place. In hockey, there isn't. I wouldn't compare it with any other sport. It's too fast and uh, too deceiving. I was told to work in blue, white and red. It felt more French-Canadian. And I came up with this here for printing. But the red is darker than the one they're using now. For the player's uniform, my initial drawings were in blue. Like this one here. But again, this wasn't what they wanted. So finally I made it in blue, white and red also. I had initially chosen blue, primarily to be different from what had been done. Also because we're in Quebec and Quebec's color is blue. Blue, white and red, well, it's for the other generation. It's an establishment. Everybody likes it, and it's been seen before. It's like a flash. The color flash. Everyone sees it, and they immediately think it's their colors. In Montreal, we have always had a winning team. Everybody has seen and followed them in their childhood. So keeping the same colors, you make everybody feel at home. They feel it's their team. They see on their own eyes the colors they used to see on TV before. I love hockey. It's uh, one of the things I get the most joy out, out of in life. I mean, I, I live for sports, eh? I mean, uh, in the winter, hockey is... It's tremendous. 
I have to have competition. I mean, I, I have to have, release some frustration sometimes, and I think that hockey is great for that. Every time I can put my skates on, I mean, uh, you, you have to... I come in here and I'm, I'm over-anxious. I mean, I'm always in here an hour before it's time to go out on the ice, and I'm dressed, and I, I'm, you know, I'm ready to go out. I, I just, I love it. I didn't have to go over there. I'm anxious for the season to begin. It won't be long now. It's a rebirth for me to start playing in Quebec. I didn't really feel like playing last year. I didn't play much last year. I was quite fed up with hockey. But then, Quebec is home and I have good friends in Quebec. And it's also a new club. The supporters are really enthused. It'll be fun. They're all youngsters. All 20-year-old youngsters. So it's going to keep me young. When I see them, I'd love to be 20 again. Sometimes I feel old. Especially when you see those youngsters. They skate like demons. <laughs> sure, I can still play. That's for sure. I skate less, but I'm at the right place. You must be in the right place at the right time. I'll try to be at the right place, that's all. Hockey is all right. We have a good life. It's true. You get to travel a bit, you learn a bit, and you meet all kinds of people. <laughs> Sure, it's fun. You get to meet all kinds of people and you make friends all over. And the following year, you meet them again. Pardon? No. I've been doing this job for 19 years. And if I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. I've always been involved in sports, golf and hockey. You say that I should have retired five years ago. Well, you see, I can't let go. It's too much fun. Come on, Gans, go, 
Up and down, up and down. Up and down. Up and Pour la game d'asseoir, on va commencer avec euh, Serge Aubry dans les buts. Puis la ligne qui va commencer va être euh, Jean Payette avec euh, Bergeron, puis euh, Brett Sauvé. À la défense, on va avoir euh, Jean-Claude avec euh, Jacques Blain qui va commencer à partir. Torchez de penser à la défensive, pas de déranger de votre, votre position. C'est là qui est le plus important. Celui qui ne croit pas encore que tout cela est vrai, qui devient instructeur d'une équipe de hockey à Québec, l'instructeur des Nordiques, Maurice. It's really hard for me, to, you know, after 12 years of uh, being away from hockey, and I, I think it's going to be hard to, you know, to coach the whole season. I'm going to try, but uh, uh, I think with the time, everything will come uh, natural. Two weeks later, Maurice Richard resigned. Oh. 
Back to the plus one. There's a goal. There's a goal. Take slow mo. 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 Right now, I feel terrific. I, in fact, I feel it's funny. Well, there's a big celebration and everything tonight for the opener, and uh, myself, I don't feel like celebrating. I mean, I'm very, very happy, but I'm going home because uh, we have a practice tomorrow. I mean, it's a good start. We don't want to ruin it, so I'm going to go home and rest. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, it sounds stupid, but let's say we can celebrate when the season's over. You know, when, when the opportunity's right. So uh, we'll let the fans celebrate. It's their win as much as ours. We'll go home and rest and uh, get ready to win a couple of more games. <laughs>